Denzel is. Um, we had a week's. Uh, we had a week's rehearsal, a week's talk, really, and um, you get to know each other, and um, and, and so uh, he, he. You know, he's a big personality, and he's very committed to what he does. He's very prepared, and. Um, also, we're playing adversaries. We have inherently we're going to have we're going to have different opinions with the characters. So um, once we familiarized ourselves with just the kind of vibe with the personality thing, away we went. And he brought a very studied, um, precise way of working to to the set. He lifted, I thought, the level of pro professionalism right across the board. There was a great deal of respect, and he didn't mess with it. He didn't abuse it, <clears throat> as is sometimes the case. Um, and working opposite him was, um, it was easy because, um, I mean easier than it might have been, because you, you go, I do my thing, he does his, and you're, you're, you're dancing, you're fighting, you're, you're, you're into the psychological world, and, and you exchange, as we're looking at one another now, you exchange it. And although we're in the story, we're going to you know, kill each other or whatever, there's somewhere in there, there's this, there's this empathy that we're two actors, but it's way back there in the, in the distance, and we still come up with all this other stuff. And that's when, when you know, I, I mean, at least that's when it's pleasurable. And um, I, I, he's very professional, and he knows his stuff, so it was a, a great honor. He's obviously a very fine actor. I, 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 was, I, was, uh, I was having fun. He just kind of swans up to the apartment, and. He's not going to be Teddy, and again, as a sociopath, he has the ability to, to mirror everything around him to serve his agenda, and basically he came in as something of a Boston, a Boston cop or you know, somebody in the official, an officialdom. And um, I just had a little chat, you know, and, um, and a little friendly as if he was investigating a case and whatever you got to offer, all the while kind of sorting out who he was, where he lived, who is this, who is this man? And um, it was a little bit like, uh, Throwing the, throwing the um, the cloak uh, in front of the in front of the bull, you know, having a bit of a play and and, and uh, before the before the uh, main event in the in the bull ring. I know the series from a long time ago, and um, what little I can remember of it, I enjoyed. It, it's a it's a it's a concept. It's a vigilante film. You don't need to have watched the series at all. It, you, it's it's. I mean, Denzel takes it to another place. The script is it's completely different. Basically, somebody's seeking justice for the vulnerable and the innocent is about as much as uh, you need to know. And other than that, you don't have to have seen any of the other stuff. In fact, yeah, they're quite quite different beasts. I think. He probably was brought up in, in an orphanage and kind of abused. Um, yeah, had, he didn't have a lot of necessarily love and affection. Um, he learned uh, how to deal with situations in a rather primitive way. Uh, if feeling, feelings are not useful, guilt is not useful, you have to, you have to keep striving forward and, and the world is not a nice place for him at all. So. Um, yeah, you sort of, sort of kill or be killed, really. But but uh, he's clever enough to know. You know I imagine he has a very high IQ. He's clever, uh, clever enough to know that you can't just go around killing people. You have to do it intelligently. And that's where the sociopath comes in and and, and uh, nullifying any kind of remorse or guilt or conscience. And uh, you know, we imagined that he might have been uh, you know, in the in the uh, in the military situation, and um, and then in special forces, and then there was money to be made in in, in in kind of hired killings or sorting things out, which is where he and Pushkin come into the picture. And he's a perfect person to kind of swan in and and be what he needs to be and sort it all out, and then and then go home again. Um, yeah, he he uh, he's a typical sociopath in that way. There's there's not a lot of love and. Uh, and um, he's at the center of his universe, and he believes what he's doing is good for everybody. Yeah, which just sets him loud and loud, proud, and in charge, but in the most sophisticated, elegant, lovely way. Be a nice person to talk to. If you have, if he didn't have anything um, in for you, I mean, you know, you'd probably have a nice meal with him and go home thinking, oh, there's a charming young man. <laughs>